Another day, another story. Have you ever thought about the similarities between the lives of animal communities and human societies? From the way animals interact and form relationships to the way they solve problems and work together, there are many parallels that can be drawn between the two. Let's start with animal communities. Many species, from ants to meerkats, live in close-knit communities where they work together to achieve common goals. They have complex social structures, with division of labor and clear hierarchies. Just like human societies, animal communities have a clear division of labor, with some animals specialized in caring for young, while others hunt for food or protect the community. In animal communities, there is also a clear hierarchy, with dominant individuals having more control over resources and access to mates. Similarly, in human societies, there is a social hierarchy, with individuals in positions of power having more control and influence. Another similarity between animal communities and human societies is the way they solve problems. Animals work together to find food, build shelters, and overcome challenges, just as human societies work together to solve problems and find solutions. Finally, animal communities and human societies both have strong social bonds and relationships. Animals form strong bonds with their mates and offspring, and will often go to great lengths to protect and care for their young. In the same way, humans form strong relationships with their families, friends, and loved ones. So, there you have it. Despite our differences, there are many similarities between the lives of animal communities and human societies. From the way we work together to solve problems to the strong bonds we form with others, the parallels are clear. Here are a few more examples of similarities between animal communities and human societies. Leadership Just like human societies have leaders and decision makers, many animal communities also have dominant individuals who make decisions and guide the group. For example, chimpanzees have alpha males who lead their groups, while meerkats have dominant females who make decisions for the community. Cooperation Animal communities and human societies both rely on cooperation to achieve common goals. For example, honeybees work together to gather food and build their nests, while humans cooperate to build communities and create societies. Communication Both animal communities and human societies have complex forms of communication. For example, animals use vocalizations, body language, and scent marking to communicate with each other, while humans use language, gestures, and facial expressions to communicate. Conflict resolution Animal communities and human societies both have mechanisms for resolving conflicts and maintaining peace. For example, animal communities may have rituals or displays to settle disputes, while human societies have laws and courts to resolve disputes and maintain social order. Parenting Both animal communities and human societies have strong bonds between parents and their offspring. For example, many animal species, such as wolves and whales, form strong bonds with their young, while human parents also have strong bonds with their children and go to great lengths to protect and care for them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational videos on the fascinating world of biology.